An Albuquerque man is facing charges after crashing an expensive sports car into a New Mexico business, causing some serious damage. While police say speed was definitely a factor, they say so was alcohol. News 13's Elena Mendoza shows the shocking surveillance video from Lovington. A business nearly destroyed in seconds. Early Saturday morning, Lovington police got several calls about a speeding Corvette, almost running people off the road on northbound Highway 82. When they tried to stop the driver, 22-year-old Elias Ornelas, they say he fled. Seconds later, an officer clocked Ornelas going 85 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone when he left the road and crashed right into a hydraulic business off Commercial Street. He slid or spun approximately 962 feet before he impacted the building. Ornelas was taken to a local hospital. He revealed later in questioning after work, he quote, had a couple beers at an Applebee's, shots of tequila at a bar, and a couple drinks at a party in Hobbs before he got behind the wheel. Police say he told them when he saw the officer's lights, he thought, quote, I can outrun him. The wall Ornelas came through has since been replaced, a temporary support being put up to keep the building from caving in. The original one was 10 inches thick and was partially knocked out during the crash. When I got here, I was, I was in total shock. He came in through over here, uh, through the, over here to the right where this office was. The owner of the business, Kenny Wallace, says it could cost him up to a half a million dollars to fix the damage Ornelas caused. We had an adjuster in here yesterday, along with a building contractor, and and they both pretty much agreed that it, it's going to have to be completely tore down and rebuilt. Wallace says any other day, his workers would have been in Ornelas's path. He says it's a miracle no one involved was killed. A building can always be replaced. It's uh, kind of inconvenient right now, but we're going to be just fine. Everything is fine. In Lovington, Elena Mendoza, KRQE News 13. Ornelas blew a .21. He was also driving on a revoked license and was supposed to have an interlock because this is his second DWI. And the Corvette wasn't even his. He was borrowing it from a friend.